Hi there, this is just a very quick video to illustrate a little technique that I've learned to generate 180 degree virtual reality images in Blender. Blender natively supports 360 degrees and if you go onto YouTube or wherever to search for how to make virtual reality images or videos in Blender, they will all be about doing 360 degrees unless they involve a huge complex hack. Now, why is this an issue? Let's take this very quick scene I've created as a uh, illustration. Every object in this scene, bar the ground plane there, is in front of the camera. If I render this as 360 degrees, we're also rendering all this dead space behind the camera, which adds to render times and file sizes and is unnecessary. And a lot of virtual reality content is 180 degrees, basically covering everything that's in front of the plane of the camera and the thing behind. Effectively halving the file sizes, render times, and so on. Blender doesn't allow you to do this natively, but it's actually very easy to do, I found out. So let's show how we do that. But first of all, we'll illustrate the issue with a 360 degree image. So if we go into camera view, in a normal image, this is what the camera will see. Let's go into look dev mode, just for the distinction of color. So this is what the camera would see. Now to generate 360 degree images, First of all, you need to be in cycles. This does not work in EV. In render mode, make sure that you're at least in 4K resolution. Anything less than that just will not look right. It will be fuzzy. If you imagine drawing a ballpoint picture on a balloon and then inflating it, that picture will start off sharp, but will get fuzzier and fuzzier as the balloon inflates. It's exactly the same principle. So the next thing you need to do is check that the camera is not in perspective mode, but in what I've selected here, panoramic, and then in equirectangular. Now, just for the sake of the speed of this video, I've set our samples very low. So now if we go into render mode, we will see the 360 degree view. So that's everything that's in front of the camera, but everything that's here and here is what would be behind the camera and there's nothing there it's dead space and time and energy and resources were spent rendering that unnecessarily which is fine for a quick image like that but imagine rendering a video with hundreds and hundreds of frames at a higher sample rate so how do we get to a 180 degree view it's quite simple really go back to your camera settings now if we select safe areas it draws these margins here they're a distraction, so we will drag those sliders right down to zero to get rid of them. The important part is this sub menu, center cut safe areas. Let's reduce all of those to zero. And then we can select either of these X ones. It really doesn't matter which. And if we set that to 0 0.5, what we have now is a dotted line representing the edge of an area of the image, which is a quarter of the image on this side, a quarter on this side. And this whole center represents half of the image. Now, if we understand that from the left here to the right here is 360 degrees, and we've got half of the image here, the distance from this line to this line in degrees is 180. So what do we do then? We use this as a guide. We go into our render settings, select render to region, crop to render region, and drag these lines here and here. And then any subsequent renders will just render that at 180 degrees. And then for that true VR effect, we can then select stereoscopy. And it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.